Growing up in the United States, you hear over and over again that we have the cleanest drinking water in the world, we have the cleanest water, the cleanest air. And so you don't realize that you need to be worried. I was really shocked by how long companies like DuPont and 3M lied to regulators, lied to their workers, lied to community members, even if hiding that information from them meant that people in their community would get cancer. This announcement is historic. It is long overdue. We really welcome the EPA's announcement to take aggressive action to finally address these two notorious PFAS in drinking water. I think the reason that it is happening right now is because of people like Hope. Hope Gross is a resident of Pennsylvania. She grew up near a military installation. And as a result of decades, of use of firefighting foams that use PFAS. Her water was contaminated and she has suffered from lifelong health impacts as a result of that exposure. Once PFAS ends up in our water, it eventually makes its way into our homes in our drinking water. That PFAS is going to accumulate in our bodies. PFAS are associated with some kinds of cancers like kidney and testicular cancer, with reproductive harms like lower birth weights, lower sperm counts, some developmental harms, and even immune harms like making our vaccines less effective. We first got involved uh, way back in the early 2000s when the now famous lawyer, Rob Bogot, uh, brought his lawsuit against DuPont. By the 1960s and 1970s, DuPont had data in its files from animal studies showing toxic effects in multiple species. By the end of the 1970s, DuPont knew that PFAS was building up in the blood of humans. By the 1980s, DuPont was concerned about liver damage and birth defects among its own PFAS-exposed workers. By 2012, this independent panel of scientists had concluded, yes, drinking this in the water was linked with six different serious diseases, including two types of cancer. We really used our advocacy platform at EWG to start advocating for changes, to push the EPA to take action. Drinking water utilities will have to install some kind of technology that will filter out the PFAS before it comes out of the tap. And so that's really a significant public health win. I think a lot of the talking points you're going to hear from the industry come back to cost. And I actually agree with industry on that point. Consumers shouldn't be the ones who have to pay. It's industry that created this mess, and they should be on the hook for getting PFAS out of the water. Regulations for these two chemicals will help people like Hope by making sure that the water that comes out of the faucet in your kitchen is safer. We're all individuals, and when we all act together, we can make big change.